Hey everybody, it's Vicki again with the Lavinia World Video Design Team and today I want to share with you um, a couple of different stamps that I actually just don't use very often but I've recently um, had a need to pull them out and uh, we also have some fairy hugs uh, paper now that we've off that we're offering out on the website and um, I was able to get my hands on a sample and this is the one that we're going to play with today and this is called starry moonlight and I hope the light is showcasing this as much as I want it to it's a paper um, uh, version of obviously kind of an alcohol stain uh, design and it is fabulous this is probably my favorite out of the six pa I think there's six or so and I'll show you all of them um, but this one is going to be perfect for what we're going to use today and I will tell you what those are. Um, this is a green one that I've actually cut down. Um, I was going to do something and then realized I got the red and I pulled it off. So they are six by six sheets um, and I believe you get uh, several in a package and I'll double check that but you'll find these on the website and like always I'm going to link to everything. But this is the green one. This is almost a coral uh, looking under the sea type, but it would be fabulous with um, possibly some white or even purple embossing on it. And the paper is super thick. Um, I love it. So it's gonna be perfect for our project that we're gonna do. This is another one. It's got greens and blues and purple. Um, it's just, it's they're all beautiful. This one is kind of um, desert, mountain-esque with a bright blue, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> a bright yellowish green moon up there in the sky. Then there's this blue one that's almost a digital, uh, like a digi. I don't know if you can see that. I'll try to get it up close. Um, really pretty, lots of blues with kind of an opening in there. And then again, we've got this dark, moody um, night sky with some black and, and a fabulous, maybe a rising sun or um, a, kind of an orange setting moon. Um, this is going to be great for, and this would be good for the project that we're going to do today also. But again, the red is my favorite. And then the, the last sample that I got was this one. And I love this. Um, this is really more of a distressed ink look, um, but fabulous, bright, vibrant colors on them. So lots of fun to play with. Take a look at those on the website. But our project for today is super simple. Um, we are going to use this red, and I'm gonna put this up close because it's almost got a digi effect up here too, but you get that effect when you're dabbing the alcohol if you get a super fine spray. And um, this was done really, really well because you don't have the muddiness around the edges of the color. So I just love this. And we've got some um, bright yellow stars kind of poking out there. But we're going to match this up solely with black ink. And then I've got a, um, a mat here where the opening is 5x5. Five five, but we're going to mat this um, in white. And then it's going to go inside of a black um, eight by eight frame and so it really pops off so unfortunately I'm going to end up losing quite a bit of the red but um, it's going to look great so today we are going to use the fairy fir tree um, and yes mine are very well loved so it's stained a little um, this is the large one and then they have a smaller one that's maybe two inches but the exact same and while they're stained they still great give a great impression so we're going to use that and then we're going to use um, one of the stamps from the dragon set I know you can't see that because it's not quite as loved as my other ones but we're going to fix that today and then we're going to use the small Medela uh, dragon where uh, she looks like she's uh, coming in for a snack or something 
So that's what we're going to use today. I'm going to use my Versafine Claire in black. And at some point, I also have the Fairy Hugs. Um, this is the red. It's like a ruby color. And I think that's going to look great on here. So after we do the stamping, I'm probably going to pause. Of course, you guys won't notice the pause. And then I'm going to come back and I want to find a way to use this glitter because I think it's going to just really, really add to what we make. So let's get started. I know that I'm going to lose part of my um, paper here, and I want to capture as much of the moon as I can. So I'm going to stamp backwards the best I can for you guys today so that I'm not doing it all upside down. And then um, I want to start with the, with the tree because I want to get um, as much of that without losing the moon in the space in here. So I'm going to do uh, probably two full trees, uh, maybe one a little higher than the other because we're going to lose it inside the mat. And then I'm going to put some down here at the bottom, which is going to give us the height in our picture. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp this down. And I'm using a brand new ink pad, so hopefully it's not going to give us too much trouble today as far as having to to double stamp because it's nice and wet and we all love a wet ink pad. Alright, so I'm going to stamp this down. I'm going to give it a great press. Not to shake you too much in the camera there. And we're going to go ahead and stamp it twice because I do want to cover that because we want to see that. Now I was going to use a red ink and if you've ever tried to match up red you know how difficult that can be. So I did put a little spot of the Tulip Red Versafine Claire which is this one but it is just way too, um, it's got way too much uh, yellow in it. Um, it's a true red but this is more of kind of fuchsias and, um, and a red in that way. So I've got a nice solid image here. I'm going to grab a, well, I thought I was going to grab a wipe. So let me just see if I can get this without too much lint on it. All right. And I'm doing that because I want to move it, but I want to be sure that I don't leave a mark on my paper where I'm not going to be happy with it. And I'm going to come up a little higher because I know I'm going to be able to see this, but I know I'm losing that part off the mat. So I'm not too worried about that. So let's give this another press. Whoops. Make sure we're all lined up here. And our ink pad. Can you all believe it's the end of August already? I can't. It's been a crazy summer with the COVID pandemic going on and I'm kind of bored. I'm almost ready for fall. Okay, that's perfect. And so I am going to go ahead and make sure this is over. And I'm going to stamp it one more time just like I did on the other. And remember, when you're using the black and you don't get that... Um, solid crisp image that you want like down here probably gonna take my black sharpie marker and I'm going to fill that in a little bit see how much of it we lose okay perfect so I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna move it to the side so I don't end up wearing it and then while we have this out I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stamp Medela right here and I want her tail to hang down a little bit and I say her because I'm assuming that it's a girl dragon. So, all right. It's too pretty not to be, right? Okay. So, I'm going to put that there because we're going to do this one. Let's see if maybe we can even do them both. So, if I bring it over, and we'll do that. Okay. So, I think we can do them both at the same time. Save ourselves a couple minutes here. And we should be able to get a pretty nice impression the first go round. Now, if you all know me, you know I make a mess when I stamp, so my stamps end up not being as pretty as they were when they came in the mail, but I love them. 
All right, perfect. So you can see that with a nice black or nice wet ink pad, we're getting um, a super fabulous image the first time. But I am going to go ahead and stamp this two times because we want to be sure it's super crisp. And I want to hide some of that oranginess that's coming through on the paper. Okay. That'll be good. I'm going to close my ink pad for now. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put a scrap piece of paper in here so I don't mess up my foam there. Perfect. Now look, and you can see it's still a little bit wet in there, so I need to be sure that I'm super careful about what I'm touching here. So I'm going to turn this to the side now, and I'm just using an acrylic stamping block, and um, I'm going to put my fairy fir tree back on here, and let me do it this way so that I don't wear the ink. Perfect. Okay. And so now I want to come through and I'm just going to put this at the bottom in different places and that's going to give us the height. Um, so it gives it the image, you know, kind of the um, idea that they are above the tree line. We just have to remember that with this one, because I'm going to self-place them, I guess, or freehand it, that we need to make sure that we allow the ink some time to absorb into the paper. So when you put it down, you know, give it a second, let it dry or absorb into the paper. So we're going to do this. And so now I really actually don't have to worry about the trunk of the tree because, um, you know, it's in, in the trees. We don't have to worry about that. Now, I am noticing that this paper isn't quite as, um, doesn't have a lot of uh, give to it, I guess. But I don't know if that's the word or not. But it's not very porous. So when you put your stamps down, don't shake or rock it because it's going to slide. So you're definitely going to need to allow that time for this to dry. Um, I'm not going to worry about it today, but... I want you all to know that. So I'm going to bring this here. And what I'll do on this side, because I know I'm going to see more of this side, is I want to just be careful about where I'm placing it. Okay. And we're here. But I don't want too much because I want the focus to be the dragons here. And I kind of feel bad because I'm, I'm hiding so much of this red. But I can't help myself. I just, I, I love the way this black is just showing up perfectly on this paper. I'm going to go ahead and put one here, even though it takes out almost the rest of the red. But that's okay. You'll still be able to see it around the top. Okay, I'm going to stamp off that. Move it to the side. And that's kind of it. Um, I think what I'm actually going to do, let's think about it. I'll ask you guys, although I can't hear you answer. I'm, I'm tempted to put another dragon right here. What do you all think? I'm going to assume that you all said yes. So I'm going to pull this out real quick and line it back up. And I will show you. We're going to make that super quick. I'm trying not to touch it too much because I know that black ink is still wet. And we need to put these where I'm not going to have ink all over them. Maybe right there. Okay, so what do you all think? I think that's going to be just perfect. All right, let me move Medela off of here. Okay, perfect. I am going to move that piece out of the way. Let me just stamp this two times like we did the other so that we get an even feel to it. This is one of those projects where I'm showing you guys and I'm so afraid I'm going to mess it up because it's already in my head with what we're working on. And I only have one piece of this red, so we're going to get what we get on it. But I am definitely going to be ordering a package of this red because I have some great ideas with it. Okay. Yes. 
so, whoops, I'm sorry. So much better. I love that. And we're literally like done with this project. So I did more talking than I did stamping this time. And I kind of try not to do that with you guys because I want it to be about the, the product and not, you know, kind of what I think. But I know that the mat is going to hide part of our drag in here, but I think that's okay. So I'm going to make sure that my hands don't have any black ink on them. And I know... I think I'm going to do it just like that. And this would be one of those projects where it would be really kind of cool to stamp on the mat. But I've got one chance at it, and I don't think I want to do that this time. So I am going to um, take a break, and you guys won't notice that, because I'm going to come right back, and I'm going to have decided whether or not we're going to add some of the... Um, kind of the ruby uh, fairy hugs glitter to our project and I'm going to put this together so that we can see the finished product back. Hang tight. Okay everybody, so I sat here and stared at this for a long time and I'm trying so hard to find a way to use this ruby glitter. This just wasn't the product. Um, or the project, I'm sorry, to do this with. I tried a little spot over here where you couldn't see, and it is just um, too red for this. So by the time we finish this, and I'm going to go ahead and turn the light back on now so we can see it. And um, so now you can see it in the map. So this was an opening. I believe the opening ends up being, I, I want to tell you all, it was five by five. Anyway, it was just um, an eight by eight frame that I, whoops, that I have found and I love it. And I do think I might be missing something here on the mat, like I could do more with it. But a lot of times I find myself kind of second guessing what I've done on a project. So I'm gonna leave this be for a while, but I would definitely love the feedback from you guys. Do you think I should add something to um, the frame? Uh, or the mat, not necessarily the frame. And what would that be? Maybe it's the whimsical whiffs, um, which is just little squiggly lines and, and some leaves. Or maybe it's a couple of the fairy fir trees on the outside. I just don't want to take away from the project. But here we are. It's finished. It's hard for you to see that the 8x8 frame. So I will be taking a picture of that. And then I will post that as the kind of the caption. But... Make sure that you are following us on um, all of our social media venues. Um, join our group at uh, Lavinia World on Facebook. And be sure that you subscribe to the channel and see what else the design team has for you. So uh, leave me a comment. Let me know. Do you think I should add something down here around it? Or, um, you know, in this case, is less more. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys all soon. Bye.